Andrew, thank you. Absentee ballot counting remains suspended today in Onondaga County. We have learned eight members of the staff there have tested positive for COVID-19. News Channel Line's Josh Martin at the Board of Elections tonight, where the hope is to get back to counting ballots before the end of the month. As far as we know, the Onondaga County Board of Elections is the only board dealing with COVID cases, which is leading to plenty of uncertainty. We learned today that eight staffers have tested positive for the virus. Ballot counting has stopped and will remain so for at least the next two weeks. The plan for counting, pending legal approval, is to do a partial certification of the presidential election on November 28th and resume counting the remaining ballots two days later on November 30th. There's right around 30,000 left and it's impossible to know right now when they all will be counted. We've been running eight to 10,000 a day, which is very, very good for us. And we're not too sure, depending on how many teams we have, when we're able to come back to start counting, that could slow it down tremendously. To be on the safe side, we want to give this another week to find out what's going on. And we didn't want anyone um, uh, to, to be exposed to anybody else, and we're all in quarantine. There are four races that are still yet to be decided, including a seat for state Supreme Court, a family court seat, the 50th state Senate race between John Mannion and Angie Renna, which right now is separated by less than 4,000 votes, and the 127th assembly race between incumbent Democrat Al Sturpey and Republican Mark Vineski. This is a very difficult development. Obviously, the staffer's health is in the forefront, but also for the process of counting these votes. Both commissioners saying that their staff are heroes for working 12-hour days, making sure this process is going smoothly. Now they all wait at home in quarantine, hopefully to come back soon and count the remaining ballots. In Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.